why Fujifilm cameras are the best tool for photographers who just want to be happy with the JPEGs. Now, I wanna start off by saying that I am not affiliated with Fujifilm in any way. They've never sent me free stuff. They've never paid me for anything. They've never asked me to do anything. I'm just a happy customer, someone who has fallen back in love with photography ever since using these cameras. And I know that there are a lot of photographers out there in the same kind of situation for what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. And that is, there are a number of very influential podcasters and YouTubers who are still saying that if you want to be a good photographer, if you want to be taken seriously as a photographer, if you want to be professional, you must record the raw file format. You must record raw, you must spend time post-processing those files, and JPEGs are for chumps. Now, this is not only not true, it, it's bullshit, all right? It's bullshit because it's leading photographers down a path that they might not want to go down. Creativity is a different process for everybody, all right? You can't put artists in a box. Some people prefer to be creative on the computer with their raw files, and I totally respect that. Some people don't, all right? Some people just don't want to learn post-processing, which is harder to learn more difficult than photography itself. Some people don't have the time for it. Some people don't have the patience for that. Um, and for those people, getting the photo correct in the camera as close to how you want it as possible makes a world of difference for just easing up your workflow and not having to worry about those raw files. Now I understand kind of where this is coming from because most digital cameras, you can't really style the photos at all. You can't style the in-camera JPEGs that it produces. You know, you might be able to uh, say contrast plus two, saturation minus one, but that's the limit of it. If you want to have any kind of visual style, you just can't do that in those cameras, except for Fujifilm cameras. And that's what I want to talk about here. And again, this is just my point of view from someone who um, has found joy in photography again. And photog photography should bring us all joy. Whether you're uh, just doing it as a hobbyist or a professional, you should be doing it because it brings you joy. And if sitting in front of a computer for hours processing raw files does not bring you joy, if it sucks your will to live like it does for a lot of people, then why are you doing it? Why aren't you just working on getting the best JPEGs out of the camera as you possibly can? So here's some reasons why these cameras are the best tools for people who are in that situation. For one, I mean, the ergonomics, all right? Most of these cameras, you have an ISO dial, a shutter dial, an aperture ring to adjust your aperture, an exposure compensation dial, and, and that's really all you need, right? And I learned on an old film camera, a Pentax Spotmatic, and this just really simplifies the process so much. You just move the dials to how you want the exposure. Um, and then you work on your composition, and that's all you have to do. You don't have to go into any menus or anything like that, except for when you want to start styling your photos, because these cameras have such amazing options for styling. And the first thing about them is the film simulations, all right? Some people call the film simulations gimmicks. And to people who have never used them, sure, they're gimmicks. Uh, but if Fujifilm knows anything, it's film. They have nearly a 100 year history developing film, and they now include 10 film simulations in these cameras, some based on actual film stocks from Fuji, and then some that are uh, based on more of uh, looks and, and feels. Uh, but these film simulations give you the ability to make your photos say something, make people feel something with your photos in that JPEG, just by going to a different film simulation. You can make your photos feel uh, sunny and bright with vivid colors or you know, somber um, and gloomy or, or have some you know, documentary feel or, or a bunch of different options for styling black and white photos, things that you just can't do in other cameras. And, and further, on top of all of these film simulations, you can further customize them by uh, adding contrast in the highlight areas of the photo or decreasing contrast in the shadow areas, further adjusting the saturation of that base film simulation. Uh, you can adjust 
Uh, there's a new option called Clarity, which is a lot like the texture slider in Lightroom to make your details stand out more. So you have a, a lot of different options for adjusting the visual look, the toning and the color in those JPEGs that you just don't have in any other cameras. And you can save these as presets within the camera, just like you would have a preset in Lightroom or Photoshop. You know, you, you download your RAW files and you want to have like a landscape preset. So you click a button and your landscape preset is applied to all of those RAW files where, you know, you might kick up the saturation, um, adjust the colors and the, the greens and the blues, maybe add some contrast and some clarity. Well, you can do all of that in the camera before you press the shutter button. You can store presets in the camera where you do all of those things. So you go out into the field and you're photographing and you're in front of a landscape and you say, okay, landscape, I want my landscape preset where I'm kicking up the saturation and the contrast a little bit. And you just go to your landscape preset and then you get your exposure right and your framing correct and your timing and you press the shutter button and there's no need to ever take that picture into a raw processing program because you've already taken care of it in the camera. And that is incredibly fulfilling. That brings joy back into photography with a challenge like that, where you're not just putting the camera up to your face, pressing the shutter button, and then dealing with all the uh, creative stuff with the toning and the color later on. Figuring out how you want it to look before you press the shutter button and then getting that in the camera makes photography exciting, at least to me and a lot of other people that are also using these cameras. So I just wanna bring this all up because when people tell you that you must record the raw file format, it would be like if I were a automobile influencer, okay? And, and I said that everyone must buy a Tesla because they are good for the environment. Well, A, that's not entirely true when you look at all the resources they consume to build one of those cars. Two, not everyone can afford one of those cars. And C, those cars may not meet the requirements for cargo and passenger carrying capacity for a lot of people. Now, sure, um, there are some environmental advantages to those cars. Some people can afford them. And within that group, they do meet the requirements for an automobile for some of those people. But as a blanket general statement, saying that is just bullshit. And it's the same thing as when people say that you must record the raw file format. You're the creator, you're the artist, you do the workflow that you wanna do. And if that does not include processing raw files for hours on end after a shoot, there's no shame in that. Get it right in the camera, style your photos in the camera, Fujifilm cameras are the best option for doing that. And the next time that someone tells you, why are you shooting JPEG, you should be recording raw, you can say, well, I already did all of my processing in the camera because I'm shooting a Fuji. If you have any other similar experiences with these cameras, or you're in the same situation where you're just kind of sick of processing raw files, please uh, let's get a discussion going in the comments below. One that does not include people saying, do things my way because I said so because that's bullshit and photography is art and photography should be fun.